This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. In association with Micromax. Nothing like anything. Prosperity and good fortune come your way this Diwali. That's the wish coming from our property team. But if you're looking to prosper in your property investments, then you need to stay put in front of your screens for the next 60 minutes and make note of our recommendations and market analysis. And your fortune teller this Diwali is, of course, my expert co-host, Samir Jasuja. Let's get started. Coming up on the show today, Gurgaon's best locations to invest a crore and make it grow. Also in NCR, Noida's highly rated projects in the mid-range of 45 lakhs. Down south in Chennai, end-use properties in 50 lakhs in emerging micro-markets. Hyderabad, 25 lakhs, the top destinations that will give you steady returns for the next few years. Also looking at Thani and MMR, we'll review your investment choices and bring you best projects in 60 lakhs. And is Mumbai's commercial office hub, the Bandra Kurla complex, now emerging as a residential hotspot too? And finally, light up your homes this Diwali with cost-effective and energy-efficient lighting options. First up, the latest and biggest news stories from the real estate space. Realty giant DLF has appealed for an interim relief from the Securities Appellate Tribunal to redeem its funds locked in mutual funds and bonds. After hearing the petition filed by the country's largest real estate developer last week, the tribunal adjourned the matter till October 30 next week as it sought a response from capital markets regulator SEBI on DLF's plea for an interim relief. DLF has sought relief for redeeming funds including around Rs 2,000 crore locked in mutual funds as also through redemption of certain bonds worth further 1,000 of crores of rupees. 88 infrastructure and industrial projects involving investment of nearly Rs 3 lakh crore which is more than the centre's budgeted income tax collections for the current financial year have become operational over the past few months. This will help in adding jobs and easing pressure on banks, which had lent to the projects that got stuck due to lack of government clearances. Tata Housing Development Company is steadily on an expansion path. With over 55 million square feet under development across various projects, the company has inventory of about 10,000 to 12,000 units. The developer also plans to add another 12,000 plus units this fiscal, with three projects coming up in the Mumbai metropolitan area, Delhi and Kolkata. Purvankara Projects Limited has announced a premium residential project Purva Evoke in South Chennai. The project with over 180 apartments is designed by an international architect firm from Germany. The project at Gindi overlooking the race course will have 3 to 5 bedroom apartments with a 5 star concierge service coming with a price tag of over rupees 2 crore. The luxury project will be sold on expression of interest basis with Purvankara inviting potential purchasers in the first phase. Our first caller on the show today, Ankur Gupta. Hi, Ankur. Go ahead. How can we help you? Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm calling from Delhi. So I was looking for a property for end use probably that is available around two to three years down the line. And I have shortlisted a couple of properties in Gurgaon. Okay. One is the uh, Microtech Greenberg and one is Mapsco Mount Pele. So I'm looking for a range around 1.3 CR. So just want to know if uh, these are like good properties or if you have any other options for me. Okay, so Ankur had uh, written to us about Microtech Greenberg, Sector 86, New Gurgaon. He has a budget of 1, 1 to 1.3 crores. Sami, do you approve of this or does he have better options in about a crore? Well, uh, we think the pricing is a bit on the higher side, trading at 7150 to 7350 rupees a square foot. Although the construction is being done by LNT, uh, the developer doesn't have too much of a track record in the industry right now. The inventory overhang is safe at 15 months, but the weighted average price is at 6,000 rupees a square foot in this region. Price appreciation has been about 15 odd percent on an analyzed basis. So the appreciation point of view, this micro market is very good. We've got some better projects for you to consider, uh, starting with Supertech use. Uh, this is in sector 68 at 6,500, much lower price. Uh, it's a new launch project, just 500 meters off Sona Road. And the project construction has just con commenced with excavation uh, in progress and it's been funded by a big a PE fund. Paris, Paris Irene by Paris Biltec, this is at 5800 rupees. This has got scenic views of the Aravli range. Uh, project is situated 300 meters from the proposed Metrolink. 
It's available in a subvention scheme also with 15% uh, upfront payment and 35% within two months and balance on possession. Uh, one by CHD developers is 6650 rupees a square foot in 10.5 acres of land parcel. Has, will have 70% of open area with modern amenities. So you could look at any of these three projects in the nearby vicinity and uh, go with it. They're all cheaper than your shortlisted project as well. Although the project is ultra luxury, but at the same time, we feel the pricing is aggressive. Okay. So, Ankur, uh, Microtech Greenberg, Samir has uh, other options which are priced lower, uh, comparable to the market average of New Gurgaon, which is about 6,000 rupees. This project is uh, priced about 1,000 rupees at a uh, premium. Uh, even though the project is good, construction on track, but this is also this builder's first project. So, we're giving you options instead on the Sona Road, uh, which are sectors between 68 to 80. Uh, so projects you could look at, Supertech Hughes by Supertech, Paris Irene by Paris Biltech and One by CHT Developers. Okay, next, Dipesh Jain is joining us. Hi, Dipesh. Uh, how can we help you? Hi, Vasudha. Vasudha, my question is actually why didn't start. So my range is between 40, 45 lakhs and I'm looking for a property in Delhi or India. Uh, and second thing, uh, if I want to zero in God City Phase 2, uh, what, what's your feedback on that? All right, um, Samir, um, looking at Noida or Greater Noida, 45 lakhs. Uh, is Gore City the project in Noida extension? That uh, Would you recommend that? Well, we've got some other recommendations lined up for you, keeping your requirement in mind. You will be only able to get two BHKs and Noida seems to be a much better location hmm. because it can get you that uh, in your budget price range, uh, you can get a two BHK in Noida. So why go to Greater Noida? Really, it's still far out from... The Noida uh, areas, uh, sector 119, 76 and 74 are great sectors that we've shortlisted for you. Here the inventory overhang has also come under control. It's at 20 months, although there's a lot of supply, 51,000 odd units coming up. Here the weighted average price has touched about 5150 and the appreciation has been pretty decent at 15 odd percent. Uh, what we would recommend to you is uh, that you should look at projects nearing completion or already completed. So JM Orchid being the first recommendation, project got ready in 2013. Uh, this project uh, is just opposite the well-inhabited sector 50, project 3.5 kilometers from the metro. And amenities include 100% power backup, swimming pool, clubhouse, etc. Platinum by Amrapali Group, sector 119. Uh, again, uh, project uh, has been ready, spread over 13.5 acres. This project has got uh, all the basic amenities in place and the developer is also providing RO in kitchen, high speed wireless internet uh, connection in the whole complex. Good bet within a limited budget. Cape Town by Supertech Limited trading between 4,600 and 5,000 rupees a square foot, part of a 50 acre township. Project is along, uh, along 100 acres uh, sector park and project construction is in advanced stages. Projects approved by HDFC, Access Bank, IDBI Bank, etc. Uh, so the Noida extension is still out of bounds given all the legal cases which are still um, uh, happening. A lot of farmers are still filing petitions and uh, the, the High Court is uh, passing orders, uh, ordering the return of land. So this market is now out of bounds for the affordable housing uh, seekers. Where are these people going now? Well, a uh, large part of them are going uh, to the uh, Yamuna Expressway hmm. because that's where prices are much lower. Faidabad is also a comparable micro market where yeah. Greater Faidabad, where people are looking at options where now there are ready projects available also mm -hmm. to move into and the metro connectivity will also soon come. Yeah. But I think besides these micro markets, uh, then you have crossing republics Rajnagar of the world extension. and Rajnagar extension, which are the only options left. Left, okay. But connectivity to those uh, uh, areas will remain an issue. Uh, Dibesh, so Greater Noida, as Samir said, instead given your budget about 45 lakhs you can get some good uh, 2 bhk small 2 bhk options so look at noida expressway instead the sectors from 70 to about 121 uh, let's recap the options for you cape town by supertech jm orchid by jm group and platinum by amrapali group okay rahul nodial is on the line with us now um, Rahul actually sent us this email. Uh, he says uh, he has a budget of 25 lakhs. Uh, his location preference is Great Anoida. Um, he's looking, uh, he also looked at a 1 BHK of Oasis Grandstand. Uh, this is on the Yamuna Expressway. Uh, his budget is about 25 lakhs. He wants us to review this property. Oasis Grandstand. Well, this project is spread over 10 odd acres. Uh, Builder says that there is uh, the price prevailing is 2499 and 2599 and further price negotiation is uh, is possible. 
but given your project, you can get better developers because the developer is fairly new and doesn't have too much of a track record. So you may want to consider some other projects uh, on the Yamuna Expressway. Uh, I'll come to the key data points first. Here, uh, areas near Parichok have a good inventory over rank of 12 months and Yamuna Expressway, although is got too much supply, 28 months and 44,000 units already launched. Varied average price uh, is uh, 3200 rupees for Yamuna Expressway and for areas near Pari Parichok is about 3900 Price appreciation uh, has been much higher for Yamuna Expressway but that's because there's a lot of uh, loading and pricing that is happening by the developer and developers are already taking the prices up. So it's been about 10% on an analyzed basis whereas areas near Parichok have been about 7 odd percent. The two other recommendations are Gaur Atolium by Gaur Sons. This is between 2400 and 2800 rupees a square foot. It's a 20 storey high rise residential tower. Construction is an in initial stage and almost all the banks are providing a loan. Uh, amenities like swimming pool, gym, jogging track, etc. Vandita by Sunworld Infrastructure. This is uh, 2800 to 3050 rupees a square foot. It's a 10 acre project in sector 22 Yamuna Expressway. Project is 200 meters off Yamuna Expressway as such and construction is yet to start for the project. So it's going to take a bit of time, but you can go ahead with this project. Okay, so Rahul, uh, Oasis Grandstand, uh, this project is located in a sector which is quite uh, quite further ahead from the main Yamuna Expressway. But this sector has some other big brands also in the realty space. Uh, there is Ajnara and other projects, there's Cosmic Oris. Uh, but uh, Samir says this builder is fair, fairly new and uh, you can get some better options with the builders who have a solid track record. Uh, look at Gaur Atulium by Gorsons India and Vandita by Sunworld Infrastructure. Time for a quick break. We'll return shortly and set sights on Mumbai where the famous commercial hub, the Bandra Kurla Complex, is showing promise as a residential market. And also from Mumbai, we'll shortlist the best prime property deals.